Hello, everybody. It's Dino here. Dino, I hate the name Dino. It's Dean here for the Motivated Entrepreneurs Podcast. I am your host, and I just love doing this. I love this every single day, being at you, giving you some sort of positivity, and just helping you along your way. Thank you so much for all the kind messages. I love it. I appreciate it. If you can do one thing for me, it'd be simply subscribe and tell a friend. That's all I ask. Let's spread them positivity because there's so much negativity in the world right now. And I believe that, do you know what? I often say, but I live in La La Land. Everything is wonderful, sunny, and yeah, come and join me. Okay, so today it's episode 260. It is Wednesday, the 11th of November, and we are talking about a team that wins. And what team wins? Who wins? So a team wins, an individual wins, when they take the most shots. Ah, oh, and then when I seem back, um, when I say shots, for a team of football, I'm thinking the team of football, the team who takes the most shots wins. But how does that affect your life? How can that, how can you use that to move forward in your own life? Well, it's simple. Do you take enough shots at your goals? Are you taking enough shots at your goals? That is the most important question. Most teams that shoot, m- most of the shots that a team makes, they miss. They miss, but are they scared of missing? No, because they know the only way to score a goal is by taking a shot. The only way to achieve in your goals, my friends, is to take that bloody shot. It's incredible that the amount of people that I speak to who are just... And I appreciate it. I understand because I understand the consequences. But if you never, ever shoot at your goals, you will never, ever achieve your goals. It's impossible. How can you? And you have to be scared. Not You have to be not scared of missing. It doesn't, missing isn't all that bad. When you miss, you fail. But guess what? There's no such thing as failure because we are learning something from every single failure. Let's look at me. If if I was scared about shooting for, for Lazo, the goal was I wanted a restaurant. I know, stupid idea. The only, only experience I'd had in the restaurant industry was working at McDonald's and I had zero stars and I went there for about nine months. I was terrible. I was a terrible employee. I, I, was, I was not good. I, I, w- I was not good at all. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, because I can see the markup and the numbers now, oh, the numbers are really good. They're passing the amount of foot tread and everything like that. I thought, right, let's open a restaurant. Guess what? It failed. But that failure was uh, one thing that propelled me to where I am today. And I'm not saying I'm anywhere special or anything like that. Please don't think that. But I will be. I will be soon because I'm going to take more shots. I'm going to fail more. I'm going to fail faster. I'm going to keep failing. And I want to keep failing. Because that's how we learn. We learn from failing. All we do, we, we've took a shot. It might miss in terms of football. It might miss by a couple of inches. What do we do? We know now that if we, if we shoot in that position again, it's going to miss by a couple of inches. So we move, we iterate, and we try again. That's all we do with our goals. As long as you keep shooting, keep aiming for your goals, you will get there, my friends. If I'd have just accepted my wife, Claire, didn't want to go on a date with me when we first met. In fact, she damn right hated me. <laughs> All right, hit is a bit strong word. She really disliked me. And if I had just accepted that, if I had just believed that, if I wouldn't have kept going and going and going, then we wouldn't be in the position we are now um, with a happy family, two kids, and it's just, it's nice. It's great. We've been married. Oh, shit. <laughs> We've been married uh, eight years, eight years, yes. Eight, eight and a half years. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Why do I put myself on the spot? I don't know. I'm going red now. I'm going red. So yes, we've been married eight and a half years. I don't even cut these. I should cut and just say exactly how many months and everything. And I look real cool. Uh, man, eight and a half. Say eight and a half. So we've been married eight and a half years. And if I wouldn't have kept on going for my goal, my goal, because I knew, I knew that I loved that. I knew that I wanted her to be my wife. The only problem is she didn't know that. And so I kept failing. I kept failing. I kept failing. But I kept on going and going. I mean, okay, a lot of you now are thinking, okay, stalker. And uh, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe just a little bit, but it was all in good nature. So what I want you to do is just keep shooting for your goals and don't be scared of missing. Do not be scared of missing because what's the worst thing that can happen when you miss? Okay, with Lazo, I lost hundreds of thousands of pounds and it's took me years and years and years to recover that. However, the lessons I learned along the way from that process, from that miss are incredible. Money can't buy the lessons I made from that. And you know what? I'd make it again and again and again. Looking back at Lazo now, it was a it was it was a stupid shot at goal. It was ridiculous. It was a stupid goal. It was a, it was just wrong. However, I never ever for one second, I, I I just I would never change anything. I would never ever change anything about that. I don't regret it at all. In fact, I'd do it again and again. There's no way I would do anything different because I have learned so much. I I I, I earned and 
the, the lessons there, it was incredible. And I've moved on with my life with them lessons. And so all you have to do is shoot. The person who wins takes the most shots. So just shoot at your goals. I promise you, it, it's not the failure. The missing is nowhere near as bad as you think. Because one day, if you keep shooting, guess what? You will score and you will achieve your goal. Right, tomorrow. Um, oh, yes, you need pain to change. <laughs> Let's talk about that tomorrow morning. Okay, my friends, I will speak to you tomorrow at 3 a.m. That's when the message, the podcast goes live. Do not be late. I will see you on iTunes, Spotify, or iHeartRadio, wherever. I will see you there, my friends. Okay, love you. See you later. Bye-bye.